Uh, hello guys, good morning. So today, um, so we are going to discuss about a new um, concept called as triggers. Okay. So uh, in the previous uh, videos, we have discussed about a uh, lot of topics where in all the uh, topics we have uh, triggered jobs manually, right? So we just go to the job and we just uh, manually click the option called build now to trigger the job, right? So uh, let's say if you have hundreds of uh, what uh, jobs where you cannot, um, I mean, let's say you have a job, you wanted to trigger the job for every two minutes once or three minutes once. In those cases, you cannot uh, go and uh, trigger the jobs manually, right? It is very difficult because let's say you have 50 jobs, you want to trigger all the 50 jobs every two minutes once. How do you trigger all the 50 jobs uh, manually? So that is not possible. In those cases, you can use triggers, okay, triggers to automatic triggers to trigger the job. So we have a couple of options here. In this video, I'll, uh, I mean, teach you, I'll, I'll just teach you a, a single, I mean, the first concept uh, using, I mean, how to trigger the job using cron, okay. Um, that option is called as build periodically. So we have one more option called as Polisium, we'll discuss in the next video. Okay, so let's move on to the topic now. Just log into the Jenkins by entering admin, I mean, username and password. Then you can go to any of the job here. I'm going to the first job. Okay, so just um, this is the previous build which I have built it, uh, which I have triggered earlier. Just click this output of the last trigger, go to console output, it is staying there, started by user admin started by user admin just remember this line started by user admin then running system success right so i'm going to trigger this these all triggers i have done manually now i'm going to trigger i'm going to configure automatic trigger okay just configure click configure here in this project okay um, go to the third option here build triggers you can see a couple of options here five six options you can just click the third option build triggers in the build trigger we have a lot of triggers trigger builds remotely uh, build after other projects are built okay build periodically this is what the trigger which works uh, with the cron okay uh, let's build periodically so um, there are nothing here if you just click this question mark you can see cron this field follows a syntax of cron Right, just I'm just copying this and I'll uh, put it in Notepad. Better I will, uh, I mean, or instead of Notepad, I'll just put it in Notepad plus plus. Okay, Notepad plus plus. Just put it over here. You can see month, minute, hour, date, date of month, and month and date of the week so the day of the week sorry the day of the week okay so minute minutes within the hour 0 to 59 okay hour hour of the day 0 to 23 so month day of the month then month then day of the week so if you are a, this is cron syntax and if you are a linux guy you will be easily understanding uh, this cron syntax Right, so I'm not going to dig into this concept because already I have explained. Um, I mean, all the almost all the concepts of Linux in the in the uh, previous videos. If you want to check out those videos, just go to my channel, go to playlist, and there is a name called Linux Code. There is a course called Linux Course where I have uploaded these kind of Linux steps. Just go and check there. Okay, so this uses purely a cron job. Okay, cron. So. I'm going to configure uh, cron here now, okay? Minute, minute is I want to trigger for every, uh, how can I say, every two minutes once, as I told you, okay? And our date of month, month of, date of week. So everything I'm going to give star because I want to trigger on every day, every two minutes once, okay? For every, I mean, for every day, two minutes once I want to trigger this job. So build periodically every two minutes. Okay. Apply here, save. 
Gott, ich glaube, es war ein Bums, oder nicht? Das ist okay. Okay, I just upload and save these settings. Okay. Now, um, just wait for a minute. See, first seven jobs are started manually and the eighth job will be started within two minutes now, automatically. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm just waiting for the job to be triggered. See here, uh, see here guys, this job is triggered automatically, eighth job. Okay, just click this job. Uh, console output you can see started by timer running a system it is success email has been sent to the email IDs right started by timer in the previous uh, triggers you can see just to take the last trigger you can see started by user admin because I have started that job but this job is job number eight is started automatically by timer okay this is how we have to trigger jobs automatically uh, in Jenkins okay so if you wait for another two minutes another nine the job will be triggered so for every two minutes once the job will be triggered automatically so this is the use of using triggers in Jenkins okay so that's it guys okay so we have discussed about uh, the first type of trigger called as cron build periodically in Jenkins we used to say that build periodically which uses cron job cron settings to trigger the job okay that's it guys yeah i hope you like the video guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon too thanks for watching the video have a nice day bye bye